Uh, welcome. Uh, we're doing a bit more uh, ladder today. Um, I think I will play my runes deck. So this is the first day of the new season. I got to plat one uh, yesterday. So I, was, I, I finished sort of six six wins away from diamond. So but I, I, I think I've never been to plat as far as plat one before. So it was pro it was progress. And I think I'll have a better chance if I sort of start this season a bit earlier. <laughs> Actually, uh, try and make some solid progress each day. And the first thing, I think this is a mulligan because uh, we kind of want the green mana to make this hand work. And we don't have, we've got one card draw card. I don't think it's enough. There we go, green mana and white, keep six. Uh, we don't have any red mana yet. I think we'll drop one fable. And we'll look for red mana. There's the red mana. Uh, yeah, no, so no changes to the deck from yesterday, so I think I've still got six removal spells. This is the most removal I've played in the runes deck, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I've only got two commune with spirits. Which I'm not totally certain that whether that's a good idea or not. Uh, now we could rune of might this guy. But in fact, let's um, do Fable of the Mirror Breaker first. Yeah, okay, cool. The voltage surged. Which was good because I was thinking about Rune of Mighty Imp when I did lost the card. Cool, he's doing that on his turn. See if he gets a red source. We could have another voltage surge. What's that again? Oh, discard up to two cards. Oh, ooh. Um, it feels risky. I need, I need one. I still need one source guaranteed. That's good, okay. So, I think we'll ensure we've got a double white like this. Uh, now, there is an argument that you cast a showdown now against a blue deck, because otherwise it can get count, uh, countered. Uh, I think I'm going to be greedy and not do that. I'm going to do my Rune of Might on this guy. Swing in for three. I have a companion. Now the showdown. Well, there you go. Counted. So he's still in uh, dirdling mode. I'm curious about the green he's got in his deck. So this is a Timo deck, some kind of Timo combo. No creatures yet. Usually I expect the uh, the mill deck. He's got two mana up. Uh, he could do a. Uh, he could do something. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and do a showdown. The only trouble is, yeah. He actually, yeah. 
No, we can, we can do a showdown. I was thinking he might do the one point power sink, but I do have treasure in case he does that. Fading hope on him. Okay. That's fair. Ah, interesting. We didn't get, we didn't actually get a land off this lot. Let's play this land and. Hmm, we could commune with spirits. Or we could save all, all of this for next turn. Play a naturalist now. Seems risky. Or play a weaver of harmony now. Maybe less risky. We'll just do the most damage we can. Do Rune of Speed on the Reflection. I think I like that idea. Get four damage in. Draw a card. Another showdown. Sure. Weaver of Harmony would have been a good idea. Then I could have copied the activation. Yeah. So it is Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I wonder if it's some kind of infinite combo Fable deck. That would be cool. Uh, does my Kiki Jiki want to copy something as well? That's another possibility. Now if we could cast all of these. That would be good. Yeah, let's, let's try that because this should make the borrowed time cost two. Then I can cast everything. Naturalist first. We will power up our companion. We will commune with spirits. That's right. We can do a circle of confinement his creature if we want if we want we don't have to uh, we can borrow time for his reflection I can get that guy up to three toughness that makes sense to me and we'll swing with these two And we used all of our showdown cards. So yeah, that was effectively four extra cards we got. Um, no blocks. It's a coma deck. Perma Cosmos Serpent. This thing does ridiculous stuff. Uh, I will have to read this card again. 6-6. Six, six. Let's resolve it. It gets a 3-3 three, three every upkeep or something, doesn't it? Yeah, every upkeep. My goodness. You can sack a Serpent to do what? Tap a permanent. Ouch. Or make Coma indestructible. Ouch, okay. And the circle of confinement will not work on it. Okay. Uh, do we want to just do a showdown again? Because he's tapped out. That may I've drawn all three of all four of my showdowns. But um that's ridiculous. Okay. Let's do a generous visitor first. And then do a showdown. Um, I kind of want to get someone to six to challenge the, the Cosmos Serpent, but then it will get tapped. Something's getting tapped. Okay. Uh, that's fair. I will 
use my Kiki G key and target that. Draw a card. I will show down again. Get the companion up to six. Ha ha. Ha ha. There you go. That's how you do it. And then I could do something else, maybe. Yes, I could play a spirited companion. Even better. And, um. Hell, let's make him a 7 7. Start building up the naturalist as well. Sweet. Uh. Boom. 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 Three attackers. See if he's got a sweeper. There's a battle of frost and fire that does four damage. Oh, it's gold span dragon. That would make sense with his uh, thing that I've captured, the Kiki Jiki. That's getting bounced. Yep, taking hope. Sure. Uh, we could double block that, I guess, but. Uh, no, we won't do that. Puts us down to 15. He's got four mana up, of course, with his treasures being double effectiveness. He is conceded. Yeah. Makes sense. So we've, uh, yeah, we finished in plat one. We started this season in gold three. And you get, of course, you get two pips for a win in gold. Slightly easier going. That's a lot of generous visitors. That's an absolutely ridiculous number. Um, it's not as good as uh, as the zombie card, isn't there? Um, champion of the cursed. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. Anyway, um, yeah, when you get three of those, it's uh, in the opening hand. It's Definitely pretty good. Okay, um, we could generous visitor a bit more. Is he the kind of guy who'd play sweepers in his uh, deck? I think we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Ooh, it's a foretell and a, uh, a sweeper, isn't it? And it's the sweeper that foretells things. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's play my planes. Uh, do I want to play a circle of confinement just to hit him for more damage? It's an interesting concept. I feel like they're all going to die now. May as well. Six damage. So I've, I've it's uh, well, it's made a four-four creature. It is a doom scar. Yeah, never mind. Love three mana board sweepers. And I've. 
literally got nothing. <laughs> Is it concession time? <laughs> right, I can confinement his dog, I guess. Uh, right, let's get... Let's be positive, right. Let's get our second white mana. I think we'll risk the, uh, the beat down from the companion for a few turns. Eito Shizuki. I could sneak right by, but I know something you don't know. Okay, I think we will companion. Hmm, Rune of Speed. Shame he's phased out, I suppose. Uh well, this companion let enables him to draw cards without discarding, so I think we've got we've Got to circle of confinement. Companion, I'm afraid. And I'm gonna play everything. I'm gonna ruin of speed this guy and we're gonna go to town on his life toll. Oh, another land. A novel. Right. Just for the record, that's three, six, seven land in 14 cards, so it's only 50% land, it's not, it's not ridiculous, it's pretty reasonable. Vanishing verse, oh, and he's got his dog back and he draws another card, ah, oh, brutal. And he's got the Celestis as well. Okay. Our eyes are everywhere. Right, uh, the dog will trade off for somebody. Yes. We'll just we'll do that because why not? Interesting. Keeping the companion. So I'll play my naturalist. Who does not die to vanishing verse, which is quite nice. So yeah. Oh, exile target, non land permanent. Sure. Oh, this has. So anyway, he's got all the spirited companion tricks for card draw. I like it. He's pretty tapped out though, and I've got a showdown. I suppose when you, even when you've got nothing, you can always hope to top deck a showdown. All right. Now we'd, uh, I guess we'd like to play these next turn, but right. Anyway, that's his attacking threat. But we'll help him draw cards. Kato Shizuki will help him draw cards. Kaya can exile a non-land permanent. I think it's a pretty desperate situation at the moment. I think I've got to borrow time. Um, being able to just kill anything I put out is probably bad. So let's let's take out Kaya. He's still got his card draw engine, but I don't think we can do much about that. Um, forest. We'll, t we'll play this as a red source as well. And that will get that will get bounced back to the hand. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. It's. It, it, it's it's pointless tr uh, attacking. So <laughs> vanishing first. I'm not sure. Don't worry. 
He's got another ghost one counter. Does that mean he gets two one one spirits? Sure, another one hell spell. Uh, let's look at the top seven cards. Shouldn't something have gone on to the... Okay, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Right, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, let's play a forest and a companion. If you draw something good. Very, very good, yes. Right. Um doesn't matter too much. I think we'll just do that. Uh we'll go for Kaito. Oh, he's got a block with that token, okay. So, the Kaya Ultimate is, is definitely a threat. You can cast a legendary spell from hand, graveyard, or from cards in exile without paying its mana cost. You can do that every turn in your upkeep. Okay, so that's getting a token on it. It's got first strike. Okay. Don't really want to block it then. So it's going to turn into three 1-1 one, one flyers, I guess. Count Dracula. Otherwise known as Sorin. Good news. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Discard some lands. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. We've got one more land back, but we've got we got a rune. Um. Okay. Right. I think uh, I'd like a rune of might on my goblin. Let's get him to three three as well. Good draw, right. Uh, let's showdown. Again. Uh, he's got trample. Trample is good. Might have instant removal, I would guess. Okay, circle of confinement on the companion. Seems good to me. He might have instant removal for this guy, but... Good, he's gone. Right. He... Oh, yeah. Dies or is exiled. Yeah, okay. Well, never mind. Uh, we've still got things to do. We have can fable again. Can play a red source and rune of speed. This guy, I can give him a counter as well. Why not? Now, which planeswalkers are we going for? So, this one. He's got a total of six toughness on the board. So he could save Kaya. I think we'll send uh, two guys at Kaya. 
No, let's send three at Kaya. And let's take out someone else. That's a card draw engine. That's a card draw engine. Elspeth, card draw engine with three. I think we'll try and take out Elspeth as well. Uh, let's go for it. Instant removal, vanishing verse. He has his, he's got his third vanishing verse. Well done. Well done drawing three of them. <laughs> I guess in uh, 21 cards. So yeah, he's he's got me there because yeah he yeah he had instant removal for the trampler, so he's able to block everything. Um, I guess circle of confinement on the dog was a blunder. I didn't read the uh, the Kaya text there when it dies or is put into exile. So I, I really didn't want to do that. But never mind. Uh, we'll end the turn there. And yeah, gets to alt that and just cast legendaries from his graveyard every turn. This has got, what exactly? Vigilance, okay. So I can defend Nothing his planeswalkers. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Doomscar, sure. Why not? Kaya, sure. Guess I'll need another uh Alright, just got these two lands. Hallowed haunting, that's very welcome. And uh, let's get another white source. He's completely tapped out, which is good. Can rune of speed Akikijiki. Oh, we're flying! Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't realize I had so many enchantments so quickly. Great! That's that's fantastic. Um, let's commune with the spirits. Build up this spirit a bit more. Uh, Rune of Might or a uh, Spirited Companion, maybe? More bodies are good. We've tapped all our green. Uh, yeah, Spirited Companion. Right. We'll have ourselves a dog. this spirit a bit. Need to look at the kind of the life totals on these guys. Um, I guess another token on there and he can take out Kaya who can exile permanence. That might be kind of important. Um, what the hell we'll put Rune of Sustenance on there. Can take out the Kaya. I mean, it's academic because he can always. Okay, we didn't. Uh... Let's take out the Kaya. But we recovered well from the uh, s the sweeper. So he gets to have a legendary back for free every turn. Job too tough to miss. 
He's had two Doom Scars so far. And he's going to exile that. Thought he might. Oh, that's a shame. We don't have any um, mana. I spent all my mana. The girls have had Vigilance. Yeah, Vigilance from Hallowed Haunting. That's a Doom Scar. So Doom Scar number three. It's just going to go ahead and Doom Scar again and get some. Get a free spirit out of it. Okay, sure. I've actually gone through more cards than him as well. <laughs> Time, right. Okay, so yeah, obviously exiling that is no good. Now who's really scary? Elspeth. So there's no point doing borrowed time because there's another Kaya in the graveyard who just gets cast. But get rid of that one. That's just card draw, that's just kind of card draw. Still a, quite a decent way away from his ult. She's getting scarily close, so we'll borrow time. There, I think. Because he's only got one Vanishing Verse left, right? If he's th these colours, of course he might be running uh, the other removal spell. He has another rail spell in hand, but um, oh right, yeah. Well, obviously I've not read this properly. You can because you can cast it from exile. You can cast it from borrowed time. Of course, why not? And I've been through a few showdowns myself. A couple. Okay, so he blocked that and he gets a spirit and he gets bounced back to his hand. destroy all creatures. So that's his other um, sweeper, Path of Peril. There's no secret I can't you can deal with my servant. I'm okay. I guess he's foretold his last uh, sweeper. Or his last, I mean, his last Doom Scar. I would guess he's got five sweepers in the deck. So he's placing that one, they sure. Lie as innocent people are slaughtered. You'll be fine. Trust me. Well, we've learnt a lot about how these uh, ghost form counters work this game. So that's something. I think the Weaver is not long for this world. Oh no, it's another path of peril. Okay, sure, that's his other path of peril. And we're thinking Doom Scar is foretold, so maybe he's playing eight sweepers. Let's 
I mean, yeah, it's a super friends deck. You want to protect your planeswalkers, so you play a lot of sweepers, I guess. Sure, Tefri as well, why not? Land. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see how much land we've got left in our deck. Four, five, six, nine, ten, thirteen. One, there. We discarded a couple as well. Fifteen. Seventeen. So I think we've got six more land in the deck in uh, 18 cards. Okay, well that's gone now. Fair enough. That was probably my last hope. Show them what you got. Should be dead next turn anyway, I guess. But yeah, I suppose Kaya Alt. Trying to play against Kaya Alt against the Super Friends deck is um, a bit challenging. Okay, we top decked a land. Good game. Might as well play it out. I don't play against that many Super Friends deck decks like this. So good to get an idea of how many sweepers they're running, you know, what their uh, Planeswalkers do. So this is from Cal time in this one. Okay. Yeah, the Vanishing Verse. Third one was kind of a crucial one because it took out my trampler, which was going to kill, uh, potentially kill one of his planeswalkers, or at least do it some damage. It was going to stop. In fact, it was going to stop his Kaya from ulting, at the very least. So that was that third vanishing verse was very crucial. I mean, it felt like I drew a lot of land there, but it's probably an entirely normal amount of land. I think early on, I, was it, I had 50% land. But it's, you know, just one of those things. Not exactly out of the ordinary. So um, now this this one we need, we we don't have any card draw. We kind of want red mana, but we've got. We basically we we hope that we're going to top deck some good stuff because we've got a good setup for the first couple of turns. I've just been shot already. Okay. Well, there you go. I said we need to top deck something good. We got red mana source, which is perfect. Ryler option. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh yeah, let's have the planes on play the cami. I'm guessing he'll do an exile effect on the cami now. Oh, he's uh, he's got white as well. Interesting. Uh, yeah, trade. 
we need, I think, the red white deck is a bit faster than me. Usually. So I'm, I'm quite happy to trade off early on whilst I get set up. I think this is a, a big threat. Potentially. And I, I like the idea of generous visitor into circle of confinement. So this can start popping everything in my deck. So and if he pops the circle, I get my cami back. Um. I think we're not playing showdown this turn. He might have now he might have instant removal. Cuz so I'm thinking my turn th this turn I'll just do runa speed and swing for four, but he might he might have instant removal. Cuz I can use my courtyard and get Ah, but what do I get? I'll get a second red source. We've already got the planes. Uh, I'll go ahead and ruin a speed this just for more damage, and it'll provoke him to do it. use his instant speed removal, I guess. He's got it. So we might borrow time that. Seems it seems reasonable. And I think we can go double white here. We can make the generous visitor from hell. Valorous stance, right, yeah. Now I can get back a Kami. Uh, I mean, you could go Naturalist Showdown. I think I just go Showdown. I kind of don't like the fact it tapped my green. I kind of like to play the Kami. So, yeah, we'll play the green. Card left. Another, another Raiju, okay. And he's got Den of the Bugbear as well. Quite dangerous. Okay. 
Uh, do we have six mana? Yes, and double white, so we can do these three spells. Uh, can we chuck in a naturalist? No, we can't. Okay, definitely cannot do that. There, that's right, you can make a blocker. This might uh, help him. Rune Forge means I can cast my rune for free. Uh, do I want to do that though? Do I want to do another showdown? Yeah, let's. Take the naturalist. Big as well. We can do another green thingy. Yeah. One more. Okay, this looks good. Probably use this for white. Uh, how about we play the forest and we play the Kami? Okay, put a little hole for the Kami. The sustenance, okay, nice. That one for red. And what do we want to do? We've only got one white source. We 
we're going to have to commune with spirits. Um, we want to get the second light source. And we've got, yeah, a removal card is a pretty good idea as well. Good, okay, well, so we'll use this for red. And just do a borrowed time, I think. And Other option is we could get the cami back, get rid of the portable hole. Yeah, you can bring back Runa's sustenance to draw a card, I guess. Put it on any permanent, of course. That's that one can become a creature, which is kind of relevant. Two voices of the blast. Okay. So now we show down. Okay, now that can be turned into white mana, which is a really good news. We will confine a voice of the blast. Uh, Rune of Might, the naturalist. Got one card left. Oh, we can uh, start pumping up his crawling barons. I've not seen anyone using this at all, but uh, yeah, it seems interesting. Right, so first card, yeah, it's got to be ha Harold Haunting. I was going to say, but yeah, that's uh, a pretty strong position for me. And I said, yeah, that, that's definitely the last game. So, uh, yeah, Rune's deck is still good. Interesting to play against that, um, that Super Friends deck. So we learned a bit more about Kaya the Inexorable. The ultimate is is pretty uh, challenging to play against, to say the least, because they can cast their legend, their planeswalkers from out of your borrowed time, because it counts as exile. But uh, yeah, I suppose you expect to lose if uh, you let a planeswalker alt. Right, yeah, we've not changed the deck. I have been uh, thinking, oh, I commune with spirits is actually really good. And I should put a one or two back in. But I'd probably be 
looking at cutting the removal by one or two. Because the runes, you, you kind of want some runes in a rune deck, really. I'm, I'm down to six. It seems, seems about right. Anyway, that, and that is a video. So thanks for watching. We'll see, uh, well, we'll see how far we can get this, this season, the July season.